Hello and welcome to Singapore National Stadium. We are here because the Crystal Palace squad are training on the pitch there in this incredible stadium ahead of the game against Liverpool on Friday. And I'm joined by Crystal Palace loans manager, head of under 23 development, but most importantly, club legend, oh. striker. Um, how are you enjoying the trip so far? Yeah, arrived yesterday. Um, great flight and um, as we expected, very humid and um, hotel's fantastic, facilities are great, five minutes from the stadium, so team are having a workout, so we're just sitting and relaxing. And you've been to Singapore before, haven't you? I have, yes, Ooh, a long time ago on a stopover to Bali. It's only a couple of days, um, but uh, nice to be back and yeah. You had enough time to go to the Raffles Hotel last time, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we went there, stayed there. I think we, we had, yeah, it's a nice, it's the oldest hotel in, in Singapore, so, and, and where the Singapore Sling was. It's where created. the Singapore Sling was created, yeah, in the long bar there, I yeah. believe. Yeah, an incredible place, uh, an amazing mix of old and new, isn't it? Well, mainly new. I mean, uh, <laughs> reclaimed land, um, some fantastic buildings. You just don't see any old buildings, do you? I mean, um, incredibly clean, as we all know. And uh, yeah, yeah, happy to be here. Right, from buildings to uh, building squads. Yes. Um, you are the expert on the young players in the Palace squad as we all know. So I'm going to go through some of the names of players that uh, people may not know as much about as the senior players in the squad. So let's start off with Teo Adramola. I mean, a lot of Palace fans, obviously they yeah. saw him because he made his first team yeah. debut last season. Tell me about Teo. Republic of Ireland has had a, had a couple of great seasons with us, um, you know, with the 18s and now the 23s, um, under 21s, the Republic of Ireland. Um, played in the first team twice, Stoke City and, is it um, end of season? Yeah, on the cusp of it, 18 years of age, and um, it's all in front of him. Exciting times for him. Um, the staff like him, players like him, and um, he's great attitude, diligent, good worker, uh, blessed with pace. And as you, as we all know, pace seduces all of us. It's uh, it's great to watch, and he gets forward. He's on the front foot. So, yeah, um, heading in the right direction, doing really well. And now we've got a giant centre back, uh, Jake O'Brien. You would have seen him loads last season because yeah. he had a successful loan spell at Swindon Town, didn't he? Yeah, he went to Swindon Town, second half of the season, really, really, really good. 60-odd um, uh, percent of games played of, of what they had. So, um, yeah, a few phone calls for him in the summer at a higher level. And, um, yeah, he can play from the back and it's a lovely diagonal ball. Um, strong physically, um, good attitude, good mentality. Another centre-back, Dan Quick. Dan Quick, yeah, he is quick as well, isn't he? I think he's the quickest. That well, Teo disputes this. So when the S, the strength conditioner or the the guys do all the data, they say Dan's quicker over a longer period or something. So Teo said, "Who'd win in a race?" So anyway, yeah. So yeah, Dan, centre back, um, ball player, um, good size, and um, yeah, he's another one, a prospect. And Caden Rodney can play at right back, centre yeah. back, and centre midfield, can't he? Under eighteens, Caden, yeah, he can play various positions. And as you know, sometimes. It can work in your, in, your, in your benefit because obviously going slotting at right back, going, going slotting centre midfield, going slot on the right. So, yeah, he, you know, it's, it's, it's excellent for him. Great experience. Jezrak Saki, he's yeah. been in the squad a lot around the first team. Jezran, yeah, he came off the bench against Chelsea last year, the opening game of the season. Then he, he, he started um, last game of the season, Man United, was it? Um, 16 goals, I think, in the, in the, uh, the under-23s. I think that was joint leading goal scorer in the league. So he finds a way of scoring. Um, uh, once again, good attitude, wants it, um, and he's, he's on the cusp as well. So he's around the fringes of the first team, and um, yeah, everyone likes him. And uh, we were at a school visit today, and a kid came up to me and showed me his phone. He was on TikTok. He wanted to know if Jaden Raymond was, was coming. So he's going to be very pleased when he comes to the game on Friday night. Jaden's very popular on TikTok and YouTube, but he is a brilliant footballer as well. Yeah, he was, uh, he was really unfortunate when he joined us. He had a, an ankle injury. No, it's been a big test for him because obviously uh, been out injured for quite a while and coming back in and then being out again and coming back in. And this is a, a, a good period for him now. Um, very talented player. Um, he chose Wales, hasn't he? Yeah, he chose Wales, I think, because uh, to play for internationally. Um, you know, um, I went to see an exhibition by him at his old school of all his artwork and everything. So super talented player, a good thinker about the game and um, yeah, one again, hopefully get some minutes. And Malachi Burton, he's I feel like he's been around yeah. nearly in the squad for quite a while now. Yeah, I think we all know Mali, yeah, midfield player. Um, yeah, it's, he needs first team football now. I think everybody agrees. I think he, he'll agree as well. So hopefully he'll get some minutes as well here. 
David Ozo, an absolute giant for his yeah, age. Yeah, I think he's, he's just, in, is he, I think he's 17 now. Well, I think May, I think he is. So um, yeah, giant, he, he watched loads of clips of the gaffer. Um, you know, strong physically, gets around, gets his foot in, blocks things, moves well, um, improving in his passing. Um, so it's, I mean, great experience for these young ones to be out here with the first team and in the environment and just seeing, hopefully the professionalism rubs off on them and they see what it's all about. And Killian Phillips, obviously we signed yeah. him last season. He's already made an appearance in, a, in two of the pre-season friendlies already. Yeah, I know he's played out of position as well, hasn't he? Centre-back, so he's a, he's a midfield player who likes to run off the front. You know, um, Conor Gallagher-esque, kind of like, you know, runs channels, gets forward, 6'2", 6'3", probably. Um, really enjoying it, humble guy. Him and Jacob Ryan obviously partnered up, but um, yeah, he's, he's got a lot to give and um, bright future for him. Scott Bank. Yes, Banks, he's been around it. He's been on loan a couple of times. Um, dead ball specialist. Uh, yeah, played first team football, needs first team football, needs to, to, to push on a little bit. Um, but once again, great opportunity being here. Moving on to the strikers, Rob Street, he had a good loan spell, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Newport County and uh, League Two, and it was tough. It was tough, but he, you know, he's, he's a tough character. He's, he's resilient. Uh, hard working, he, he watches his own clips, he criticises himself. Um, we have good long chats together, obviously, striker, striker. And um, yeah, he's giving his, he gives the best that he can give in every game, and, that, and managers like that. Yeah, how much do you enjoy talking to the young strikers and trying yeah, to pass on bits of, of knowledge? All of them, you know, you've got to feed, feed you know, we, I sit with the analysts and we go through clips and we give them feedback, not too much because you don't, you know, it's just like, you know, incremental, just little bits of, of things that can help them, but you learn on the job. Everybody will tell you, once you get in the first team, you learn on the job, you, you, you get around those first team players, they do things to you in training that you haven't had done to you before, and then you do that to other players and you learn. So he, uh, big, big upturn in, in, in Rob's sort of a, um, uh, career, I think. It's, uh, it's held him in good stead and there's a few people interested in taking him this year as well. And Victor Akinwale, he scored so many goals in last year for the under-18s. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's um, got a bit of everything, Victor. Runs channels, holds the ball, scores goals. Um, unselfish, uh, team player, and um, yeah, just a good attitude. And one one of those things that impresses the manager, just good all-round attitude, um, smiley face, happy. Um, yeah, once again, another one, it's all in front of him. Another smiley face, Adamola Ola Adabomi. Yeah. Call him Mola. Ola, for short. Yeah, he, um, he he was injured for the first season when, uh, when, when he was here and frustrated and, you know, kept moaning about how you know I said you'll get there you'll get there you'll get there and he has got there and um, you know he's been he's impressive with his goals um, his all-round game is developing he's young so you know it's it's unless you're quick as a striker you tend to it will take you a little bit longer but he has good attributes willingness to work really hard and learn um, and obviously they're all good nice people as well yeah, and it's going to be fantastic for them playing in this stadium on Friday night and then the MCG next week and, yes. and the Optus Stadium in Perth after that. Well, I, I liken it to you take yourself back to their age and where were you? You were playing, <laughs> playing in the reserves of Port Vale. Um, but, yeah, great trips. I mean, some of the guys said they haven't been out of Europe and, um, you know, this is the first time they've been outside of Europe. So, obviously, you know, business class travel, great hotels, great facilities, um, food is first class. And then you come here and you have to embrace it. You really have to embrace it and really want to do well, want to get on the pitch, want to show the manager what you can do. Because it could be the start. It can kick you on and help kickstart your career. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mark. Pleasure, Chris. We'll go down and enjoy the rest of training now. But for you guys, you can look forward to either coming to this stadium to watch the game on Friday night or watching it on Palace TV Plus at home. Um, just here at the uh, Sports Hub in Singapore, where we're in preparation for our game against Liverpool. Obviously, I can't play, so it looks like um, JP will be standing in. I can't go to the bench, so it looks like one of the kids will be on the bench. <laughs> Hello and welcome to uh, Singapore. Oh, <laughs> start again. 